Hello, hello, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm filming a ASOS clothing haul and more specifically it's all going to be around their new active range 4505. So I had a quick look on the ASOS website and I saw that they released this whole new line of active wear and I just had to get my hands on it. Um, I've been getting really into fitness lately. Um, I guess it's probably that kickstart into summer. Because in Australia, summer's just around the corner, so everyone wants their beach bodies, and um, we're just gonna be wearing a lot of skin, so gotta make sure that's all taut and nice. <laughs> so anyway, I saw that they released this capsule on their website, so I thought I'd pick up a couple of pieces. They had a lot of nice neutral colors, as well as some bright, fun neons, which I thought would be really great going into summer. Um, and they also had a good range of shorts and leggings and crop tops. So I grabbed a few outfits um, to try on and see how the quality is. I also picked up um, some of their Puma pieces because they actually sell Puma on ASOS. So it would be good to kind of compare what that entry level of the 4505 range against more of Puma who have been doing this for years and kind of see all the comparisons and differences between the two ranges. So I'm going to try them all on, have a look at them, see how they're made, do a squat test because that is very important to me because I cannot imagine going into a gym and squatting in front of everyone and just having everything on show. Like, no, no thank you. So I've got my parcel here and it's really quite heavy to be honest. I didn't expect that seeing as it's just a bunch of leggings and a bunch of shorts. I think I also got a hoodie so that's probably where the weight's coming in. But yeah, I'm, I'm shocked. It's a big parcel. I haven't seen any of the pieces. It's all sealed still. So it's really exciting. Let's get into it. Alright, so first up, I have these cream leggings. It has all this detailing on the side, um, which will be super cute when it's on, so you can see like a little peekaboo of the skin. Really nice colour, it's really light. Um, they also have the branding on the back, so it's not too like obvious and full on with the branding, which is what I like. They're really thick, so it would be great for the England weather, I guess, which is where ASOS is all designed and made. But, Maybe a bit too long going into the Australian summer. To go back with that, I actually grabbed the matching um, sports bra. So this crop, I think I had to get in a large because I sold out of all the mediums. It has the same detailing on the side, which is cute, but then they've also put some lining in it so you're not showing like all your skin around there. It has the crisscross back and then a little key hole at the back as well and then just has the branding same as the leggings um, just in the embroidery and the grey in the centre front there so really cute set I'd be interested to see how this colour looks on me I think it may just be a little too light but we'll see see how it goes <laughs> this is the cream set um, and as I was worried about I thought it would be a bit too warm and I think it will be for the Australian summer my legs are really toasty right now, even though we have all this detailing along here. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's not like a huge win for me. I also feel like it highlights my stomach so much. I need a place that I want to highlight. And then back to the detailing. Is it just me or does this fabric here, like the little cutouts, remind anyone else of those little like fabric woven pieces that hug grapefruits? So I feel like a grapefruit right now. <laughs> I feel, I feel hugged. <laughs> the top here, it is really big, but I think that's because I got a large and I should have probably got an either a small or a medium. But I don't think even the small or medium would have helped the um, support on it. So it's really big around here. Cutout's cute. Um, but yeah, I just don't think it's as supportive as the other one. But it is a cute colour. I think it does actually complement my skin tone quite well, um, especially when I go to the beach and have a bit of a tan. But yeah, let's do the squat test. Yeah. The next pair of leggings I got were these stone leggings and they're like more of a yoga pant. They're very tight though. They're just stone all the way through and they have this cute panelling detail on the side there with some stitch detail and then the 4505 branding on the side. 
super cute. They also have the internal drawer cord, so you can tighten them um, to your stomach more. And then also have a back zip to put like your keys or some coins in, which is really handy when you go running. Overall, super cute, really happy with those. And with these leggings, I also got a matching crop, which is super cute. It's like in this dark chocolate almond color and has the back piece completely all mesh. So that's super cute and it'll be great for running too. It'll just give some more airflow and everything when running, which is super, which will be nice. And then it also has the white branding on the center front there. So these leggings actually came with a matching top, but they all sold out of it. So I had to get this top, but I actually think that that makes a really cute pair. Like, don't you? I think that's adorable. Love it. So cute. Um, I love these two colors paired together. And um, I did have to pull in the leggings a bit tighter. Um, so that draw cord is really helpful and they don't feel like they're gonna move anywhere. Um, so here's the back. I feel really supported by the sports bar as well, which is quite rare. I don't know about you, but I find it super rare to find that. The leggings are pretty full length. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Test. Super cute, I love it. I think I'll keep this one for sure. So the next bits I got were a bit different for me. They're not neutral colors. I got something that has a bit more color in it. So I have this crop top here, which is super nice. Just a nice apricot color. It's really nice and lightweight. Um, wasn't sure if I'd like this one, but now feeling it, it feels so nice and just really lightweight and great for working out. It just has the 4505 um, branding on the back, so super simple and just really nice lightweight material. It also says that it has an antibacterial treatment to help prevent the development of odour and to keep you feeling fresh. So to me that sounds like it has some um, wicking ability in it, just to make sure that your sweat doesn't stick to the garment and that it just allows your, you to breathe while working out, which is great. To get along with those, I bought some back shots. These look tiny. <laughs> oh my gosh, we'll see if I can fit into these. I actually haven't jumped on that back short trend yet, um, but anyway, we'll see how they look and if I suit them. But there's some branding on the back here, the 4505. Five, Different material, um, a bit heavier. We'll see how it feels when it's on, but I feel like it may be a bit too thick for the Aussie summer yet again. We'll see, we'll see. We'll try them on and see how we feel. But yeah, cute little set. Very bright for me, but we'll see how we go. So here's the orange bike short set. So first of all, I think the top's really tight. On the website, it was really loose fitting and not clingy. And I don't know, I got my size, so I don't really understand, but it's really tight fitting. And also the shorts are really tight. I thought I almost couldn't get them on, which again, I got the medium and in all the leggings, they've all been medium. So I don't really understand what's going on there. Um, just a bit of size variance, I guess, but yeah. Not too sure if I can pull off the bike short trend. Um, maybe in not as bright a colour I could, or maybe with a baggier top. I think that this kind of starts looking like one of those um, the unitard like wrestling outfits. That's how I feel. So it's not very, not very lovely. And I think also because they're very tight, it's like digging in there, and they're just not great. I think you need like a bit of maybe even. I rolled it up a bit, I don't know, no. And then finally, um, I just had a bit of a throw over, like a little zip through. Let me just unzip it, oh my god. The zip's a bit hard to unzip. So there's a review in itself. I was super excited for this one because I find that like in the morning it's just that little bit too cold to go out with nothing on. So I thought this would make a really great throw over and I have no white or cream hoodies so I thought this was really nice and fresh so here it is it's just some basic zip through with a drop shoulder it has really long ribbing on the wrists um, so you can either wear it out when it gets too cold or roll it back when you get a bit warm which is really nice 
and then also has a really I don't know if you can see that on camera you'll see it when I try it on but it has a really wide funnel neck um, which again will be great on those colder mornings because you can literally zip it up all the way through which is really cool it doesn't feel too warm which is exactly what I wanted it for perfect for like spring and it's a slightly brushed and by that I mean that's just like a slightly fuzzy on the other side so really nice love that super excited for that one jumper which I've been looking forward to so much oh there's little bits of flap flying everywhere uh, so maybe it needs a wash and that will calm down a bit oh my goodness I love that that is so nice what a like easy go to throw on and it's just like Got a little bit of character there still, and even with the sleeves. Oh my god, it's so warm, but it is like 28 degrees outside. But yeah, so nice. Love that. Definitely be keeping that one. So now that we've gone through all the ASOS pieces, and to be honest, I'm really happy with the quality of them. For the price point, it was so cheap, especially if you get one of their 20% off deals as well. It is so cheap in comparison. And the quality is really there. I'd just say that some of the pieces are maybe a bit too thick for summer, but again, they're going into winter over there, so what do you expect? So now I wanna just jump into the Puma styles that I bought off ASOS as well to compare them back in their quality, color, everything. And already off the bat, I opened the bag when I was getting these ASOS pieces out, and these look a lot different to what I was expecting. So, whoa, okay, let me just get it out of the box. Okay, so not gonna lie, these ones are a bit of a shock. Um, I got these Puma um, pieces as well, to just kind of compare it back, but this one was called Peach on the website. But that looks really fluoro pink to me. I thought it was gonna be like a soft peach color. Anyway, it feels amazing. The quality feels incredible. So it's just a simple bralette with like a triangle neckline. Um, and then it has the Puma logo on the back. And then it's just like bonded with tape to give you some extra support. So they put this Puma logoing across the waist, um, the bottom hem there, as well as side paneling there, just to give you some more support and just make it a bit tighter, which is really nice. It feels incredible. I'm not gonna lie, I just don't know if the colors for me. Um, and then I got a set, <laughs> so it's very colorful. Wow, these again look so tiny. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if these are gonna fit. Anyway, here's the leggings. They look a bit short in the leg as well for me, um, but they were full length on the model, so maybe they'll stretch out a bit. And again, Puma logo on the back, really minimal. Um, branding on here but one thing I have noticed already is that they're pretty much see-through <laughs> I don't know if you can see that tag there then I hold it in the light but oh no I don't have high hopes for this I feel like it's not gonna be squat proof but could be wrong let's have a look and try them all on it's the Puma set well Pretty disappointed. I actually love the colour, I think it's really nice. Um, but as you can see, you can literally see the tag through. So no squat test today. I think you can even see my underwear, so that's great. Um I'm gonna like stand here so you can see the back of the top, but you're not seeing the back of the pants because they're completely see-through. Um, but yeah, cute colour, cute colour, super tight. Um, probably could size up in the top, it's really tight. Um, but apart from that, yeah, cute, just see through and gonna get returned. I, yeah, I don't think that that's gonna be a keeper. Maybe the top, it's kind of cute, like it. I like it against my skin tone at the moment, it makes me look super tan. Um, but that's about it. <laughs> I have just chucked you onto my phone because my camera's died um, while filming all of that. But overall thoughts, the range is really nice. It's really cute. I love the neutral coloured ones like this sports top, the nude leggings, um, the white hoodie. 
Love those pieces. I think they've done a really great job on making those not see-through and using some really good fabrics that are also moisture wicking, which is great when you're working out, but then also making them not see-through and squat proof, which is great. But then they've had a few losses. So on those bike shorts and the tank top in the peach color, they're just completely see-through. That's not great um, in bottoms, especially when you're going to the gym. So that's not a win for me, but for all the neutral colored stuff, yeah, it's a good win. I'm probably gonna keep this crop top, the hoodie, and then those nude leggings. Oh, and then Puma. I am so shocked at Puma. I thought those were gonna be the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> I just, oh, I'm actually, I'm just, I'm in shock. Um, they're so thin and I thought maybe that would be a win because um, it's I want my sportswear to be as thin as possible while I'm working out so I'm not too hot but it was completely see-through <laughs> like I couldn't even turn around on camera to show you that because it was mm, nah it was completely see-through <laughs> love the color love the idea I think they just need to work on their fabrics to make them a bit more um, girthy, I guess you can say. <laughs> yeah, really love the range that I bought so far and definitely will keep my eyes peeled for any new styles they release. Make sure you like and subscribe and I can definitely make more of these type of videos where I pick certain brands and look at the fabrics, the make, everything about them and give you more of an understanding of what a person who works in the fashion industry looks for when buying their garments. But until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.